Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Equestriate War, playing an April Fool's joke little campaign that was devised between Old World Blues, Equestriate War, and I believe Kaiserreich back in 2020. But, if you're watching this on April 1st, regardless of Europe, happy April Fool's Day. So, we're playing as the New Californian Expedition led by Governor Colonel Jameson. And I remember when this came out last year in 2020, I didn't play Equestria War. I played through the Old World Blues version of stuff, but never touched Equestria War, but here we're at. And for this campaign, this is on A Historical, so we're going to go with Lobby for Military Support. The civilian government is clearly unable to properly govern the territories we have taken in this new paradise. Thus, in an attempt to save the expedition, we must ask the military and its ranger leaders for support in this difficult situation, which we get more daily supremacy ports, and we get Adam McCrane to give us more daily supremacy support, and we get some more war support because, well... Hopefully we can go along with the changelings and take out Equestria. At least we'll hope so. But like I said, this is on a historical, so we'll see what happens. There's no guarantee for anything here. And I figured, you know what, we could go down the communist route and ally with Stalingrad, but it's really not a huge, you know, branch of the focus tree for them. So I figured the supremacy route has a lot more. And even take out the Confederate, so. We could go down with Equestria, but if we're going to democracy or with an army, that seems okay, at least for now. But I decided, you know what, uh, it seems a little bit more interesting for this side, so. Very cool. And our focus tree isn't massive, but that's okay. Totally, totally okay. Trade with Skyfall, of course. It's been a while since I've actually played Equestria War, so sometimes i got to really remember what we're doing here. Hmm. Everything looks pretty normal. And if you'd like to read about Governor Colonel Jameson, please go right ahead. Cool. But let's continue on after we lobby for military support. Because we need to get daily fascist supremacy support. Yeah. Yeah. A question goes... Whoa. And move the surprise of observers both at home and abroad, Princess Celestia has chosen the path of war. The war doesn't look very promising for the Buffalo Chieftain. We'll have to see what this brings in the future. What about Harmony? Okay. That usually doesn't happen, right? I mean, this is, I know, historical and all, but still. Ooh, we can go repeal Article 2. Okay. Begin conscription of native citizenry. Expand exploitation of local resources. Okay, but we have to do have to make a, a decision here eventually. Help from friends, which does give you a, a, some more equipment, divisions, special forces capacity multiplier. And we do get Pegasus divisions, in which we basically have a United Arms front or force, which gives us more population, a few more buffs, or we can go help from home and get some bush guns, which ultimately does allow us, I believe. Ooh, actually no, you can need either side will give you establish your NCR Military Academy get another research slot, which is not bad. Okay, so because you need either Enlist Pony Special Forces, so either one. But if you go down Help From Home, you also get the Last Ace in a Lost Land, or Lost Hand. Get more Special Forces Attack, Defense, and Special, special Forces Capacity Multiplier, some Ranger Divisions, and a lot of more bonuses to Rangers, which looks really good. But we just have, still have stuff from here for an Air Force. But I do want to survey the land, so we can come down here as well. Modern problems, modern solutions, increase our society development level, because I would like to get a proper city, but really a Tondi Grand to get some more research speed. Survey the land. Although the expedition is well-equipped and well-established in our corner of Equus, we have little knowledge of the land we are living on. With the survey, we should be able to better plan our moves ahead, which seems very good for a 35-day focus. Uh, the Emperor's dead. That's pretty normal. Crystal Fair is okay. We have slowly trying to get more supremacy support. Slowly, slowly, slowly. In which we will probably have to grab Adam Crane just to boost it up as much and as fast as possible. This is not looking good for us. Because we only have nine divisions to start with. That is, uh... Well, that's not good. That's really not good, then. Uh, let's see. Survey the land is very good. We're probably going to need a lot of defense here, not going to lie. But, let's see. Ooh, building slots, hail and steel. Resources. Do we want more construction speed and bonus to industry or four more civilian factories? That'd be really nice. But construction speed seems pretty good as well. Uh, let's go with building slots first. Ooh, which one do we want? Replace the civilian government? I don't want to lose stability because without sufficient support for the militarists, this action will reduce stability, which I don't like. We can join the changing research. Hopefully we can go to, we can ally with them. We need a lot of population, so let's go ahead and do, let's just race down for the extra focus tree, so, or the extra research slot. And actually, how many resources do we have? We have none. Oh, oh very little. Let's go with Hasten Steel just in case. The Hasten area has always been rich in iron ore and coal, the lifeblood of any good industrial economy. Now, with the survey complete and the details of a large deposit sketched out, we shall bring the two together and make ourselves a net producer of steel. Very nice. Am I even making... Ooh. 
Well, that's not very good. New Maryland recognizes Stalingrad? Um, yeah, this is really not good. We have literally new military factories. Military training? Um, hmm. Um, I'm mean, gonna try to build some civvies, but. I'd like more stability, but. Hmm. Ooh, I was not expecting this. Go and grab that one first, just because we get faster construction speed. We don't get it. Ooh, yeah, that's. Oh, oh man. That's not very good. We're probably going to get a lot of defense for these guys. But these divisions still aren't very good. We have five of these divisions, which are... Six combat width. All right. All right. <laughs> so we'll probably go with a cut of deal with the gun runners for more construction speed. Because overall, that would be better in the long run. Uh, the bonus for industry. That helps with technology as well. But while food is important, it won't do simply to have an overflow of food if we can't have anything to de defend it with. We must establish a network of gun runners and manufacturers that can help us in this in this our endeavor and these are 35 day focuses which is actually very very nice and we our society level is small scientific base well that's scientific research outdated industrial sector and which hopefully go to modern industry which would be actually pretty nice to get more construction speed resource efficiency gain factory output which means nothing apparently because we have no factories to work with so that's not very good that's aircraft stuff examine the expeditionary forces that's not bad a new land a new doctrine for new land that seems pretty good uh, do we actually have anything over here? Begin. Oh, you know what? Let's go with examine the expeditionary forces. War, war never changes. Long before we came through the portal, long before the bombs fell, humans fought with weapons such as those we can see in this mystical land. We must learn to fight as our ancestors did and claim this land for ourselves. Very good. Uh, I want to take this. We want some more political power. Or well, yeah, but, but more stability. Ooh. So we currently have disgruntled ponies, which hurts our stability, and minus 40% recruitable population factor, as well as homeland exports. We lose a lot of resources. We do get 50 weekly manpower or pony power, which is not too bad, but we hurt our consumer goods factories. Uh, I don't like that. Let's go disperse industry because we can. Um, and we also have fascist influence for now. So we're going to have to get the dude who gives us more uh, the, um, um, supremacy, supremacy influence. That's really what it is. I'm going to go ahead and grab a factory first because we need some. Begin locals armed production because... We need factories. If we're going to survive and thrive in this odd land, we must establish or possibly more accurately requisition arms factories in occupied areas. Sure, the tools here may not fit our hand, but we can surely make do. We get two military factories, get more output, and more military factory construction speed, which is pretty good. Aid from the gun runner, so please keep building, building, building as fast as you possibly can, even though it's already August. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is not, oh, oh the new Daring Do book. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this was a, a bit much for us to do for this campaign. I hope that we can just defend. I really because these divisions aren't that great. These infantry divisions, I mean, the 12 combat with, not bad. They have pre-industrial artillery. They've got some bush guns and engineers. And we do have a thing of range. Technically, they're rangers. But, um, rangers? They're looking a bit light. Light infantry. More like mountaineers. So, we'll see. And let's go ahead and grab Adam Crane. But we also have things like the Old World Guard, which is not great. I probably wouldn't choose this. Uh, New World Caravans, which is not bad. The Integration Committee, which I actually kind of like. The more daily compliance. This one's not bad either. Marcus Wilson. Followers of the Apocalypse. Thank you very much. But that hurts our recruitable population factor. And Fireheart, a liberal journalist. We're probably not going down that way. But if we were playing with Equestria, then we probably would. In the meantime, we're going to grab some radio, hopefully, and do well with that. So after this, I want more military factories, but using crystals. We get more political power. That's 100-day focuses. I think it's best if we do modern problems, modern solutions. We are in a place with problems all around us. An industry that lacks modern equipment, a populace that doesn't want us here, and land in a corner of a great power. What we don't have on the surface, we must have within for the good of humanity. Also, here are the generals as well. We are led by Lieutenant Field Marshal Lieutenant Amy Hubbard, who is of the race called human, bipedal monkeys. Frankly, they are really smelly. Some of us are really smelly. None of us. People who watch my channel do not smell. And, uh, also human. And, of course, we do have Sergeant Chris Burke and Captain Alex Newsom. But we also have... Oh, hold on. Captain Golden Star. Very cool. Next up, we shall do Accept the Bit. More daily political power. Less consumer goods factories. Not bad. Robotic workforce. I like that. Or co-opt stable tech. We can get more electronics research speed. Industrial research speed. Sus suspicious tech company research speed. 
Land for construction speed. Okay, not bad. Except the bit, though. While we may prefer our own dollars, the fact of the matter is that the world that the ponies here want to and prefer to pay in equestrian bits. Even if we may not like the look of them, uh, they are still money nonetheless, and bankers across Equestria will happily trade for it in gold. Or something close to that. Yeah, trade it for gold. Good. Well, at least we got some of that. So then we can do the Tandy Grants. Just a 49-day focus, which is kind of weird, but that's okay. With a position in Equus, we should reach out to what Intelligentsia is here and sponsor them to come and work for us. After all, with how simple ponies can be, although not dumb, they're quite happy to get to study our technology and experiment, experiment on it to improve it. Man, this, this mod goes, this goes mad really fast. The Winter Moon Celebration, huh? How much political power do we get a day? 1.23? Doesn't seem like it's not prepared for civil war. Oh no! Polit open up political discourse. Uh, we'll do that one probably. I want to wait first because I do want to grab like daily army XP gain because we're going to need that for realsies. So yeah, keep building. We only have one now. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. We could do that, which is not bad. Robotic workforce. I, what am I in that? Thirty-five day focus. You know what? Three more civilian factories would probably get a proper city. Our place in the world secured, we shall now undertake a project for vanity. Gateway City's been a ramshackle, barely planned mess of urban constructions with buildings put where they were needed most at that time. No longer. Shall that be the case? We shall reorganize the city and make it a city of the future. Very nice. Ah, a full three star shot. Finally, we're normal. Back to good old times. Let's grab some sport weapons. The second Achillean Revolution. Anything else here that's a little different than normal? I can't really tell. Pansushenko elected general secretary. Who is that? Staunch believed in the socialist ideals and is ex expected to continue the concurrent collectivist policies. Okay. Patushenko. General Secretary Vasily. And it looks like they probably... Do we know which way they're going? No, we don't. A supremacist assault divisions form. The political and martial have always been intertwined in supremacy. In parallel with its growing political movement, supremacist parties have begun to form paramilitary organizations to protect against both internal and external threats. The internal threats being their political opponents, although many people find this development worrying, the wave of militaristic fur has led to an increased amount of volunteers joining our armed forces. The political leaders of the movement have pointed out that their opponents have reason to be afraid. Having the army permeated on several levels by so explicitly politically or political elements, the enemies of the new Californian expedition and the enemies of supremacy are beginning to look very much alike. Only traitors to the country have anything to fear. Oh, more supremacy support? Nice. Get more population, less stability, but more daily supremacy support. I'm going to wait for as long as possible to get that one in, because if we wait just a little bit longer, we can maximize that 5% growth just a little bit more. It's not very much, but it'll help a little bit. Air Force from scratch. Import Stalingrad aircraft? Ooh. Import equestrian aircraft, or import changeling aircraft. We'll get more fighter attack. Well... We probably want to get another military factory first. I would love to get more political power. Actually, we do this. Does it hurt us? Let's actually reduce the ability. We want to wait a little bit first. Unify human and equine school systems. Eh, yeah, we could. We do get more resources and military factories. But it's going to take so long to get there. 70 day focuses. Oh, it hurts me so much. Oh, we can't do this one. Oh, okay. So we can't do this one because we went with a certain route. You know what? We're going to go here and then grab this other research slot. You should slot them. Hope from home. We can't trust the local population. I mean, have you seen them? They're bad word talking, magical ponies for God's sakes. How do they even hold a gun? Why on earth would they want to help us out? We must turn and rely on our brothers and sisters back home. They are truly the only friends we do have. Oh, what do we have here? Supremacy assault divisions? We love supremacy. And prepare for civil war. Let's go and do this one. Open up political discourse so things don't people don't want to kill each other. Expand civil support. I don't want to lose weekly stability or political power gain like that. That's that's totally fine with me. I'll, let's just keep it nice and steady. And then eventually we'll hold a national referendum. 55 support for the military junta. Wowzers. Wowzers. We're doing that, which is good. Uh, we're going to need some more engineers where we're headed. Early tanks will be very, very important. I think we'll just... As much as I want to get more manpower, I'm not going to go mass assault. I think we'll just go superior firepower. It's tried and true. And it might not be everyone's favorite, but it, it's, it speaks for itself. We're actually at 46% already. Gosh darn. Bad words. The fail... Wait, hold on. Don't they... Don't they usually... F this is historical, like I said, but... Wow. Antonio. Antonino. Antonino. Proletarino. Proletarino. Huh. Okay, yeah. When you play Equestria War... On uh, a historical, which is... I think this might be the first time I've ever done it, maybe. Maybe not. I can't exactly remember, but... This is kind of weird. But then again, it is. 
Equestria War. Cool. Ban communism? He, actually, he, who has the most support? I mean, I guess it technically is uh, not aligned. Who's leading this? Ranger Sutton. So, Harmony is led by David Carola. Carol communism is led by Ark Pinkerton. The military junta is led by Ranger Sutton. And, of course, we're led by Governor Colonel Jameson. Help from home, Big Papa. Establish UNCR Military Academy. Well, as the Academy is more than established back home, we have no comparable establishment in this realm through which we can advance our knowledge of no warfare, industry, or other all other technologies. We must change this. Very nice. Hmm. Do we have occupied territories? Oh, look at that local autonomy. Oh, that's oh, but that we only had that just because we're not supremacists yet. I love that one. I love this one so much. But whatever. Um, what do we actually have here? Who's good for uh, garrison regiments? Yeah, actually, you guys. Yeah, actually, you're already you're already called garrison regiments. What am I doing? Actually, who's... Is it just normal infantry leading this? Hold on. On Hooves Division. No, we want garrisons to do that. If anything, we want horses to do it. We're cavalry, but we kind of already are that. Um, let's go ahead and ban... Ooh. Ban harmonic and democratic parties. We lose stability. Change in popularity. Minus 6%. That could just push over push us over the edge very quickly. Ah, uh, but then that's harmonic. I mean, think of this. We we are uh, non aligned currently. Democracy goes down. Institute press censorship. Unaligned. Now we're kind of good. Supremacy support goes. Promise of peace. Just do that one first. We want more stability. Stability is super important to get. Military training is nice enough, but for 25 political power, really? You have 5 army XP? We already have almost 40. I don't, is, does the Equestria War really run this fast? I guess, then again, the last time I played Equestria War was when I had an older, still good CPU, but not as good CPU. But my god, we're blazing through this like it's, it's like cheese. Oh my gosh. I love cheese. But, oh baby. This is, this, I love how fast we're blazing through this. Oh, there we go. Replace the civilian government. Well, this, with the support and intervention of the military personnel into our government has resulted in a better position than before. This is clearly not enough. If we want to pers persevere and secure NCR interests in this new world, we must completely transfer the process of governance to the military personnel. Especially the rangers who possess the knowledge and needed for our success. Good. Become the military junta. Actually, we can grab that already. Hmm. I kind of want anti-air, but we already don't have enough factories. Like, we are starving for factories right now. Uh, there's no good decisions to make. It's, it's already 1,008. Let's grab some more uplet. The Grand Galloping Gala. Very nice. We got plenty of guns. We need more manpower, though. So, we're currently using these infantry divisions. I think I already converted my divisions to use these guys. At least throw one more on. It's going to hurt our manpower. I want to see... Actually, artillery just costs so much. I think it's just best that we just throw on... 20 combat widths for now. I think that'll be okay. It's going to cost 3,000 more manpower. That's okay. You guys go ahead and train. I want you all, or at least these guys too, go ahead and become just regular infantry divisions. That's going to hurt us quite a bit in the manpower department, but whatever. Cool. Let's grab some of this. No. Let's grab some of that. No. We can't grab very much. Okay. Anti-air. I, I think we want anti-air. I think we want anti-air. Cool. And, uh, hey, look, we're out of manpower. We're trying to make three more divisions here, but we'll see what we can get. Infantry regiments, that's just... No thanks. On whose divisions? We'll use this division and probably convert it to artillery division, so... That won't be too bad. Actually, you know what? Since we don't, are not even using them, just go and throw the artillery on them. There you go, that's 20 combo. That's pretty nice, actually. Throw the artillery here, too. Might as well. So we're ready for the future. Alright, anything else here we can really grab? Not really too much. Up next, we're probably going to grab... I like Followers of the Apocalypse. And that really doesn't fit, though, with the Supremacy. Uh, nothing here. I, the Imperial Integration Committee is what we're going to need. Who do we have for this? Patriot Burke is not bad. Organizer Cassidy. Old Man Finch, which is something we're probably going to take. And Ranger James is not bad. After this, ooh, do we want to lose resources efficiency gain? More consumer... Plus 5% consumer goods. Wait, what? The Ranger Ascendant. Oh, look at the Ranger Sutton. With preparations done several months in advance, the civilian administration of the new Californian expedition has officially given the power to the military elements of the operation. Courier Sutton, as the most veteran member of the military elements of the expedition and commander of the Ranger forces deployed in the New World, was chosen as a new leader through the vote of all high-ranking personnel on this side of the portal and approval of the main new Californian Republic government and military from beyond. Well, reportedly not being a very talkative person, Sutton did choose to deliver a speech to all the inhabitants of the, as he called it, paradise, through the radio. 
And he described how everyone living in the territories of the expedition have a duty, a duty to the NCR, to save it with the resources that are so plentiful in this new world. Furthermore, in a bit of a more unexpected statement, Sutton critiqued the weak position of the civilian government towards the native inhabitants of the world, leaving them angry and alienated instead of turning them into new patriots for the Republic and claiming that such a mistake must be fixed. Rise, patriots of the NCR. Unify the human and equine school systems. The civilian government has been heavily neglected towards the pony inhabitants of the new Californian expedition. This abandonment cannot be allowed, for the ponies are also citizens of the NCR and should receive all the privileges of the position. To solve this issue, we shall merge the native and our own education systems in order to create a sense of unity among the younger generations. Which may or may not be fitting here, but rough and ready. Oh, rough and ready. Stable tech. Nice. We need to do that focus first, though. Even though this one seems okay. Industrial concerns. That's pretty nice. Pre-war industrial concerns. Nice. High noon company. Bastard guns. Motor is not bad. Muzzles. Piles of guns. Not bad. Uh, Victoria Flyers. That makes sense. Because Old World Blues doesn't have that many ships. Or you know, that many companies. Ship designers. Or just designers at all. Tim's Tanks. Uh, Ranger Sutton, yeah, I kind of want to go with that, but this is, this is a more recruitable population factor. Mm. Who do we have for this? Rider of Storm Gibbons, a Sparky, okay. And we also have Riverman Ronald, just kind of, kind of generic? This doesn't, doesn't sound very familiar. What do we want to get? Oh, we want to get this one. Industrial Concerns, pre-war Industrial Concerns, very nice. Hopefully we can build, 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 and we have a division, look at that. We actually have another division. Wow, this is looking... Looking really bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, I got a battle rifle. Not bad. Mm, planes. We can't. We don't have an air base, man. We do have five research slots, though. Uh, I want to get bolt action rifles, but I think we just got to wait. I want to make sure that we can maximize. Just have a rifle for every man or human or pony or whoever. So let's grab some more construction speed. That'll be good. We're probably going to need to build up a lot of forts. Lots and lots of forts. Yeah. Unify the schools, and then... Call the NCR military a new doctrine for a new land. Stalingrad and our town. Fine, fine, fine. Oh! Well, I mean, okay. Let's see. Light tanks versus medium tanks. Superior firepower is very good. Let's grab the next level, too. Thank you. Oh, another division? Very nice. What do we do next? We can conscription of native citizenry would be... Actually, we could use that right now. Pact of the Changings. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh. Push your border wars? Let's see if we can do that one. Article 2 was part of the Equestrian New Californian Peace Agreement, which defined the territories which the NCR expedition could keep after the conflict with an agreement that would not expand beyond these borders. However, we have a purpose and duty to our homeland, and as this point goes against it, we're forced to repeal it, and even if the Equestrians oppose such a choice. Hopefully we don't piss them off too much. What is the quest you're up to? Because I know they can, go, they can go to a civil war, but it doesn't look like they're probably going to. Then again, I don't play enough a quest you war to really know if they're, they're going to have one. They're probably not. If they would have, they would have had one probably already if if they were going to. So cool, 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 cool. Oh, that is not looking good now. Actually, how is our development? Modern society, and we have no race. There's only one race: the human race. As some might say, I don't know. 1.32 every day, not bad. 70 day focus though. I we've been spoiled by like TNO, Old World Blues, even sometimes from Kaiserreich and other mods, like 70 day focuses, man. Man, that hurts. That hurts. But more anti-air will be very good, actually. Alright, so it is 29 1000 9. Not 2280, not 2275. 1,009. Do we have enough yet? Nope. Motorized. Anti-air. Go ahead and do that for now. Uh, get two oxygen on there. That would be important first. Uh, let's go and grab this too. Partial mobilization. So we can make these hopefully a little bit faster. Repeal article 2. Push. Ooh. I kind of want to do this one and see what happens. Seize the opportunity. Actually, that would be really nice. But push our borders outward. Well, we do not have we well, we do have many goals concerning expansion in this new world. Oopsie, my apologies. I thought the other one would be done first. Uh, our former mistakes show that without a proper position and trying to start big will only result in defeat. Thus, in preparation for further conquest, uh, several minor attempts at, of expansion will be performed. Not bad, but even if we like were able to like take like the Buffalo Chieftain or Meskwakia or like Snortora Desert or as well as Rockville or Aetherlands or even Kosasaro. 
Would we be able to core them? I mean, that's super, super important. Or at least put down enough resistance so that it doesn't cost us any manpower. And stuff like that, so... I don't know, man. This is not looking too good. I mean, we do technically supposed to get 50 more manpower every week, right? Yeah. New main hat and explosion. Oh, boy. I mean, it hurts our consumer goods quite a bit, which I don't like, but... We'll see what happens. Integrate the buffalo? Oh, if we peacefully integrate the buffalo into our nation? Well, that's probably not going to happen. Strike Lost Pegasus? Um, I don't know if we can do that one either. A war like never before? Like, technically, we can go to war against them, but let's not go to war with them yet. How about if we... Improve production methods? Expand faction production hubs. The factories for producing arms we currently possess are sufficient for... An army half our number. We must drastically scale up both the production of weaponry and the extraction of materials needed to produce them. Only makes sense. Only makes sense. Oh, strike at Aetherland. Oh! Starts a border war between us and them. Attempt seizing Snartor Desert. Even if we were to get it, like, can we core this? In order for both the expedition and the NCR to survive, we need to expand into this new land. While our eventual ambitions are quite grand, they need some minor preparations. Thus, some plans for minor seizure of territory and the diplomatic expansion have been created by our best strategists. Oh, wait. Oh, changing. It's cool. Can we actually do this? Uh, I don't know. I know you only use six divisions when you do this. Um, do these guys first, maybe? We probably need to go to good extensive conscription, right? Because we already technically, we already went to the next level of yeah, of the the, 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 the mobilization law. I cannot speak right there. Oh my goodness. Um. Yeah, recruitable population. I'm not gonna hurt that at all for us because we're already not doing well on that. Equipment costs. I mean, honestly, with all this stuff, I don't want to hurt. 30% production cost is not bad at all, but less soft attack. Oh, no, 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 no. I guess technically we can do this one. We can produce more guns for now. That's kind of okay. I guess we'll do that one. Since we are running out of guns. We have a good amount of artillery, though. These guys already have support artillery, too, which is actually pretty nice. What if I wanted to convert one of you guys over to this? Because we do have some spare artillery on his divisions. We'll gain some equipment. We'll obviously not have enough manpower. Let's go with mobile defense, and we shall also grab what? Radar? Sure, why not? Nice. Let's grab some of that too. After construction, we're going to grab some of this. Improved machine tools. Pretty tried and true. Long game better. Well, I guess we can try it. If it goes well, it goes well. If it does not, well, I guess it doesn't. War like none before. Uh, begin the conscription of native citizenry. While we have expanded the privileges of full NCR citizens to our pony inhabitants, we must also teach them about their duties. One such duty is fighting for the survival and future of our great country. Thus, as befitting of, our, of their ranks as citizens and new patriots, the equines will be conscripted into our armies. We lose some planning speed, but 10% of planning speed, planning speed isn't extremely important. And planning speed itself is okay, you know, it's not terrible, but you want more max planning overall. Hopefully we choose the best divisions as we're doing this, and we're still mobilizing more, don't get me wrong. Oh, never mind. Never mind. How many divisions does Equestria have, actually? Because I want to... Is it better to strike them now or later? It might be best to do them later. But they might be so far away that... Uh, uh, please, please, please. Please don't please don't show up. Please don't show up. Oh, they showed up. They showed up. God dang it. They showed up. Oh, they're showing up even more. Oh, that's not such a bad idea. Such a bad idea. You know what? That's such a bad idea. That's not good, bro. That's not very good, now is it? That's not very good. Well, let's get to see what they have. Whiplash? Yeah, I don't think we, our guys are going to do that well. My apologies, everyone, but I figured, you know what? We made a, I made a mistake here, striking at Aetherlands too early. I think we'll wait a little bit, but we've already gone ahead and finished off. Begin the conscription of native citizenry. I can't remember what other one we had to do yet, or we did earlier, but... Expand exploitation of local resources. What most officials and even citizens seem to forget is that we have a duty to the NCR and the Wasteland to solve its issues with the resources of the new paradise. We need to increase the amount of resources sent to the Wasteland by both expanding resources and upping the quotas. This increased stream of materials should also allow the NCR to produce more equipment, benefiting us, too. Thank you, more factories. Uh, but basically, I've kind of had to reduce this a little bit, so apparently Stalingrad is here and they're currently fighting... Ooh. Who are they fighting? Nova Grifonia? So that's kind of bad. Um, Crystal Empire, Changing Lands are killing off the Deer's Republic. And actually, instead of the failed coup, we still have the King of Wing Body here. So, my apologies about that, but I make some mistakes in Equestria War. It happens from time to time. But man, we are going quite fast. So, Homeland Exports. 
So we could lose even more consumer goods, and we lose even more resources. So that's really not good. And we still get 50 pony power every week, but... And also, I've gone to extensive conscription, and I saved the political power by not selecting the prepare for civil war focus. I don't know if we had to do that one or not to prevent civil war. So, so I saved that PP as well. So, uh, artillery, everything here is looking really bad, as you can tell. It looks just god awful. We're really just lacking so many guns, but we do have 15 divisions. So that's kind of nice, actually. Uh, what if we cut one down? We save a few. Okay, never mind. We don't save any manpower. That really sucks. Barbrook is gone. All right, goodbye, goodbye. Let's follow Sakata. Not bad. And of course, we're still training as well, so. I see what? Two weeks left. And we'll have Superior Fireball done. Apparently, I forgot to do this one earlier, which is not very good of me, but hey, things happen. Hope I just hope that we can do well against Equestria. That's my my that's my hope. So, we'll have to wait and see. Ah, uh, good working conditions. Stability is always nice. Well, extra military factories. Let's go grab some more guns. Nice. For the Republic, or a pact with the Changelings, for the Republic. While the Ansar expedition is far weaker than most countries of this world, it doesn't matter. Every single one of our citizens, be they human or native, now stand truly united with the NCR patriotism burning in their hearts. While we might not be the most populous or industrially capable, we will not betray our ideals by compromising with monsters, or we will persevere through will and courage alone, if needed. And what do we have here? Better anti-air. That's true. We could probably honestly use that. I'm going to wait. I want to make sure we get enough guns first, though, really. And Ranger Sun is looking pretty darn good. So, actually, for the Republic, we'll remove disgruntled ponies. Uh, oh. Radar. Let's get that one done too. Planes. I guess we'll go with early fighters. I can't remember if we did that one or not yet. So we'll get 20% more recruitable population factor and 5% more stability. So overall, not bad. Not great. But better than what we had before. Oh, yeah. Actually, have a little bit of manpower. Look at that. Or pony power, I should really say. Uh, let's see. Resource wise, we already don't have a lot of stuff already. Eh, early tanks would be so nice to grab, but. Mm, oh, what do we want? Excavation? Actually, do we even have... We could get more chromium, and maybe slightly more fuel. But it won't really help us out that much. Tactic bombers, we could probably ignore those for now. Land auction, we're working on... I guess early tanks, maybe? I don't know. After that, it's not too ahead of time. Actually, how much would this be? Even longer ahead of time. Wow. Uh, oh, we're also doing this one as well. It is what it is. Mmm... That's extraction. It's only 99 days. That's not too bad, right? That's not too bad. So after the Fourth Republic, I think we will do maybe a pact with the changelings. I kind of want more military factories and steel, though. Actually, how much steel do we have? We have enough for now. Enough for now. Mm. A new doctrine for new land. Uh, actually, did we do this one? Do we read this one before? Maybe not. I can't remember. I honestly can't remember anymore. But, well, I guess we will read this before Land Doctrine Bonus. From the moment we step through the portal, our decks have been out of date, or rather they've been dramatically ahead of their time. That is, they're usually, therefore, after a nuclear war. It seems the local populations are using weapons similar to those of our ancestors before the two great European wars of the 20th century. We need to develop new tactics to reflect this. Which makes sense. Oh, maybe we'll read one more focus before we end the episode. Which should be good. Uh, let's see, we're already doing pretty much everything we need to. The Catron Republic declared war on somebody. We're on already partial mobilization. I also save political power that way too. Instead of going to early mobilization and then going to partial mobilization, which I'm used to, we went straight to partial mobilization. They're changing colors over here too. We, do we have factions over here? The Reich's Pact, of course. Carthaginian Pact as well. Um, cool, not bad. And again, these guys do not have a civil war. Hopefully the changings can do well against Equestria. So we'll see. We'll definitely see. So, And we're currently 58% supremacist. And we also have Integration Committee. Not bad. Tanks. Chief of the Army, as much as I want to go with the Ranger side, because he's already leading us, we're going to need more recruitable population factor, probably, and get more attack and defense. I think that one is definitely the way forward. We've got 16 divisions, that's not too bad. We also suppose it would be nice to throw in our divisions. Happy 10 10, everyone. Let's go ahead and grab some more output. That takes forever to get. We actually have a surplus of artillery, a surplus of motorized. And we're slowly improving our infantry equipment. Very nice. I think we'll finish off with something else. Just in case, I think we might want to go with the Conquest of Paradise. That's not bad. Form the Equestrian Legion. That's not bad either. Daily Compliance Gain. A Pact with the Changing. Oh! We can... Oh, I wanted to go with the War of the... I want to do with the Changings. God dang it. Oh. For the Republic. Oh, that sucks. A strange proposal. They would have rejected us anyway, possibly. Oh, I should have read that. Oh, that's so dumb. You could have had more research, but versus... 
before the Equestrian Legion, would actually would not. It's, I think that overall that's a little better because they still have a chance to reject you for the quest, the changing zoo. We technically are still technically on a historical, so there's a chance they could have rejected us. So that's my fault completely. Oh my goodness, I should realize that. But it doesn't mean we can't go to war with um, Equestria at the same time. So we'll probably go ahead and do. We can do a war like no other. You know what? Let's grab this one just in case. Before the changes go to war with them and see what happens. Finally, the time has come. While previously we lost the war against our Equestrian state due to a lack of manpower and industry, now our position is far stronger. While it's a difficult choice to fight against a country which, if monarchical, is still governed with mostly humanitarian and enlightened principles, it's a choice we have to make for the future of humanity. But if you enjoyed the video, eh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll probably end up in a war against Equestria, and I might rage a little bit. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.